What is up, everybody? Tommy Mutchell here, the founder and creator of The Lazy Realtor. And no, we're not lazy. We just work smarter, not harder by automating our business. And today, I want to talk to you guys about converting Facebook leads, specifically real estate Facebook leads. Um, it seems these days that generating Facebook leads is like one of the easiest things in the world. Like everyone and their mom is selling a program on how to generate real estate Facebook leads. But the problem is we can spend all day generating Facebook leads for, you know, two, three, four, five, ten dollars a lead. But you need to know how to convert those leads. And a lot of these programs don't really offer great lead conversions. I mean, some of them do. Right. But even then, the lead conversion programs they offer aren't necessarily that great. Um, and th yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff that they offer with like retargeting with Facebook ads, but I'm talking about conversion in the sense of, you know, follow up with your text messages, you know, follow up with your emails, following up with your phone calls. Um, if you want to follow up with phone calls, you don't have to, I've done it without it. You don't have to, but uh, text message and email campaigns is specifically what I'm referring to. And today I want to help you with that. I want to show you how to do that so you can convert more leads. So uh, let's uh, just jump right into it. So here we are, Facebook leads, uh, list of home ads. So you got a bunch of different types of Facebook ads you can run. Um, this one is specific for Facebook leads or Facebook leads uh, that are interested in a list of homes. So a list of homes would be like a list of uh, new construction homes, a list of homes under $400,000, um, a, a list of homes just listed homes in Seattle, right? So some something like that, like a list of, a list of homes, right? So that's what this Facebook ad is targeted for. It's not targeted for sellers. Um, it's not targeted for just listed, right? Or coming soon. That's a whole different campaign. Like you need to be aware and have the right appropriate campaign for each lead source to be successful. Um, because one thing I've noticed with campaigns, and I'm, I don't mean to ramble, this is important, is when people build them, they don't build them with the sense of the with the consumer's mindset in mind you know they're not building them with uh where is the consumer going to be at this point in the in the um in the in the follow up process right so that's where this campaign comes in i've been testing it since um february so it's what september now so you know good a good 7 7 8 months you know i've been working on this campaign so let's just dive right into it. Um, first off, there's just some instructions. And this is all free. Like there's a link down below. First link, it's, this is a free drip for you to have. Um, first off, let's just jump into the campaign. Uh, there are some instructions on basically what this video is, but in case you don't like to read, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit my mic. <laughs> um, so first initial email, this is gonna be a bit controversial. It's, it's a welcome email. Now I like to send out a welcome email um and it'll be controversial here in a second i'll tell you why but just bear with me it's a it's a welcome email um right here it's just a plain text welcome email um with a few auto things that autofill like contact source your name it uh, doesn't autofill their name and there's a reason for that um and uh it auto just autofills a bunch of things like your phone number and the reason i have it set up this way is in case you want to instantly install it into lion desk um, otherwise you can just manually install it. But for those of you that want to save a few hours instead of manually adding this campaign into line disk, you can instantly download it. Um, so contact source, let's just quickly get that out of the way. Contact source is, and I explain it right here. Contact source is the uh, list that they're downloading. So let's just say, uh, Seattle homes under $500,000. You're probably not going to find a home in Seattle for $500,000, but let's just say hypothetically, right? So you, you generate these leads and you, the, 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 so you go into Lion Desk and you're going to create a lead source. So you're going to name it, let's just name it Seattle Homes under 500,000. So when a new lead comes into Lion Desk, um, you make sure you, you select that as your lead source when you set it up. And then that way, when this campaign goes out, it's going to autofill that contact source, Seattle Homes under $500,000. So it'll be, thank you for downloading our exclusive list of Seattle Homes under $500,000. 
So it's just a cool way to personalize the campaign a little bit further. And it's gonna do this in a few more sections of the campaign, right? You don't have to do this. You can just do list of homes, you know, look, download my list of homes off Facebook. Um, but it's just a cool way to just automate and personalize it a little bit more because you might change your list of home ads, right? You know, it might be new construction. It might be um, list of homes under a certain price brain. It might be two two story homes. It might be townhouses. It might be single story level homes, right? It could be any type of list of homes that you want. Um, so so make sure you do that with the contact source. <laughs> so first email, you know, it's just gonna be a, it's just gonna be a welcome email. Now I like to use an HTML rich email. So I don't use this plain text again. If you if you buy it. For the, or do the instant download with Lion Desk, you know, as in, as opposed to editing it manually, or you don't know how to do this, it's gonna be this plain text, uh, and it works fine. But if you want to make it a little bit better, and I think I get better conversion rates with this, is um, I build a HTML email. This is just a, a little preview window of it that goes out, and it's basically just, hey, thank you for downloading our list of homes off of Facebook. Um, and then just a little bit of info about me. And then of course, you know, show me more homes. Now this is not a link to the actual homes. This is just a link to my website. Um, and again, I believe the drip that I show you does also forwards links or forwards <laughs> autofills your website link um, for them to check out. Um, but again, if you want to do this, this custom HTML email, you're going to have some videos that I think people might like. Um, I recommend it. I think it converts a little bit better. Because then it, then it appears like, okay, that's clearly an automated thing, right? People are like, okay, that's automated, whatever, whatever. Um, and then it's, it sets you up for success when you send out a, uh, another automated email that, that you want to be personal, that you want them, that you want them to respond to. Because they're like, oh, well, that's the automated one. This must be a real, real person reaching out to me, right? No, it's a very long explanation. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ramble. <laughs> I just, I think it's important, right? Um, so if you want to learn how to do that, uh, here's a, a video I have on how to make better emails or HTML emails inside of LionDesk. Uh, you need a program called um, uh, MailChimp to build it. And then I show you how to copy and paste them. It's the entire video, everything's, this video shows how to do, how to, it shows you how to do everything. So check out that video. Um, next, drip continue. So that's all I set do for day one. Other than a, then other than a, a task reminder to remind me to Make sure I put that lead on listing alerts because I can't automatically put them on listing alerts. I have to manually add them. So I'll, I'll manually add them to a listing alert. Otherwise, I don't do anything day one. That lead that downloaded that list of homes on Facebook does not want to talk to you. They want to look at those homes. Okay. This is not a Zillow lead or a realtor.com lead where they're inquiring about wanting about wanting a product. Okay. I know this goes against everything everyone says on what to do, but you just got to trust me on this one. I, I've had a ton of success with it. If you don't really want to do it, and you really want to follow up with people within five minutes, you can. But for Facebook leads, it's different. Again, you got to be in their mindset. Where is this client, this lead? Where where is their mindset right now? It's, they're probably looking at your ad at eleven thirty p.m. and they want to download a list of homes because they want to see some new homes, and they have no interest in, in talking to you right now. So what I do is I set it up to go up the next day, where you know they're going to get a text message in the morning and an email as well. As one ringless voicemail, I'll get to that in a second. And this, I've had tons, tons of success with this with this text message. Good morning, name uh, Tommy the realtor here. Your name the realtor. Thank you for downloading my list of contact source, right? So Seattle homes, whatever, right? From Facebook yesterday. Are you actively looking for a new home, or are you getting started with your search? This is super powerful because then it looks sincere, right? You're following up the next day, and, and you know if they filled it out lean for late at night doesn't matter if they filled it out early in the day doesn't matter this just makes you look a little bit more personal and i've had a ton of success i don't know probably i'm gonna say 60 percent maybe 70 percent response rate with this single text message just saying um and then before that and that goes out at 8 45 in the morning right but usually what i do is i usually have a an email go out too. I usually have the email go out first, either the first or the exact same time, as well as a ringless voicemail. Now I use Sly Broadcast, and we'll get to Zapier here in a minute, how I set up all the Zapier, because I, I like to forward my leads into Zapier, and I have a ringless voicemail go out. Now, uh, basically, this is the whole script on what I'm going to say. Um, I just don't say their name right. 
and then that that ringless voicemail gets dropped into their mailbox right and i don't really like ringless voicemails that much i just like it in this initial contact because it works really well and then you get an email that goes out right away um hey miss call name right and again just some follow-up questions right this is super powerful these this this email and this text message are some of my highest converting um so they work really really well and then of course completely optional is your call task right so if you want to call someone you know this is just kind of a rough you know what you should say you know setting expectations just some good questions to ask them right before you end the call and of course a voice panel leave day two you know you got some more you got a video text and then on day three you got a you know another phone call day four you got a a, a video email um you can pre-record these video texts and uh, video emails it does work better if you want to, if you say their name so if you do it individually but if you want to pre-record it you can um you know both work i think i think saying their name and being more personal on the spot is a little bit better but you know if you're lazy like me <laughs> and you just want to automate it all totally fine like i i don't i don't even call these leads not not because i'm scared to I, I call people all day long i've called thirty seven thousand uh leads and i don't mind it i just i'm just over it right i just i have plenty of success with text messages and emails so um, and then it's just all automated from there. So that's just text messages, phone calls, emails, um, no, none of no video stuff. There's some videos in, that come up later, but you know, just the first few months, uh, actually the first year is just a checking in. Do you want an updated list of homes, emails, the emails that go out are just a few personal, like lead converting emails, like, um, location, 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 location is everything, you know, uh, it's complicated name. Like I hope all as well, you know, just, uh, you know, buying a house is complicated. You know, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, you know, and then the rest of the emails are usually just checking in like, Hey, monthly home search check-in, right? You know, how are you? Just want to double check, make sure the homes I'm sending you, do they still match, you know, what you're looking for? Any fine tuning you'd like me to do, you know, let me know. Right. And those go out once a month, super powerful. You don't want to bombard them with too many emails. Um, cause if they're not opening them and looking at them, uh, it's going to hurt your email reputation. Right. So I just do like the once a month, I, I'm a little heavy at first, you know, I'll do it like every two weeks at first, um, when I first send out emails and then I go to once a month for one year. And then after one year, I just stop sending them. I send them one email every six months. So I don't want to hurt my reputation. That still might be a little too much. I know you're thinking it's too much, but just, just trust me on this. So the first year we're just trying to, we're just kind of checking in, right? And then we stopped sending text messages for a couple of months and around day 195, I believe, this is where, again, if you haven't converted a lead by now, this is where you're going to convert them back in. And this is kind of a mix of my other campaign. It's, are you still interested in the market? Um, who is calling me? Someone is calling me. Oh, Zillow. Zillow is calling me. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, well, whatever. <laughs> um, oops, should have answered that. Oh, well. Um, I'm making a video for you guys because I care. Yes, I get Zillow leads. I get Zillow leads from everywhere. Realtor.com, Zillow, Facebook. Why not? Um, so this campaign is kind of a hybrid of another campaign I have where it's a re-engagement campaign to see if people who are still interested in buying a house. Um, good morning name. It's been a while. Hasn't it? No. I know oh, I'm butchering this. Sorry. I stutter a lot. This is why I script my YouTube videos. I make YouTube videos, by the way. Good morning, name. It's been a while, hasn't it? Just wanted to follow up and see where you're at and see if you're still looking for a new home. Tommy, the realtor, or your name, the realtor, whatever, right? Um, and then if they don't respond five days later. So again, this is where you kind of get a little bit more aggressive for just a few moments. Um, you know, just want to follow up on my previous text, dot, 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 right? You know, whatever. And then another video text, right? And then we kind of, you know, put things on hold, you know, you'll make a couple phone calls, right? But just kind of like a, like a, a re-engagement boost inside of the campaign. So you don't have to add them to another campaign later. Super powerful. And then we just check in. And then after a year, if we haven't touched, if we haven't converted them within a year, then you're probably not going to convert them. But I still have um, them on a, a five-year drip where it's just every, every six months, it's going to, so every three months is going to send out a text message or an email. And so it's just going to check in every single three months for the next five years. Um, because you don't know where someone's going to be in five years. It can be an entirely different situation, entirely different scenario. And you know, and you know, these, these, these 
drips that are going out five years later or three years later, they, they don't say anything about Facebook, right? Um, because they, they're in a totally different mindset. They're not going to remember that, right? You know, this is just kind of a one-off, you know, like, are you still in the market, right? <laughs> you know, just, you know, because you never know, right? But, and then after that, if you can't get them after five years, that leads dead. Like, let's be real here, right? So that's just kind of a quick rundown of this drip, drip campaign. It's super powerful at converting uh, Facebook leads. Um, and <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm going all the way back to the top. Um, you know, I use Zapier to set it up. So for my CRM, every CRM is different. Um, I use Zapier. I like to forward all my leads into Zapier. So I use a Facebook lead capture form. I don't use any of these fancy fancy um, forms, landing pages. I just, I don't think they work that well. I think Facebook conversion ads are much, much better. So I use Facebook conversion ads. I don't do any auto opt-in on my website, no force registration. I just catch them through uh, Facebook ads. Then I set them into my line desk CRM and I make sure I set the tag or the, sorry, the contact source as my list of homes. So whatever it was, so if I just did this Seattle one, right? So uh, Seattle homes under $500,000, I would make sure I select that, whoops, inside of, of Zapier, okay? Then I forward them into Real Scout. Real Scout is my, uh, my IEX, my home search website where I send them listings and then I have to manually so it automatically sends them in and then I have to manually add them to a search, whatever. I get two or three leads a day. It's not that big of a deal, it takes like two minutes. Um, and then I have a task reminder in Facebook, again, part of that campaign, right? Sly, Sly Dial or Sly Broadcast, um, where I send out that ringless voicemail, you don't have to do it. I just think it helps convert that, that email a little bit better. You don't have to do it. Um, there's a whole video on how to do this. I'll link it down below. It would take me way too long to go into how to do it right here. <laughs> so we're just gonna leave it at that. Um, Facebook audience. So I used to forward all of my leads into a face custom Facebook audience and retargeted them with ads. Facebook, however, does not allow you to create um, custom audiences anymore with their new, with the new ad regulation that's going on because you know they got in trouble with HUD. And so, you can't build custom audiences anymore inside of, or sorry, you can't build saved audiences anymore. So I used to forward all my leads into a saved audience for retargeting. You can't do that anymore. This is absolutely worthless, absolutely garbage. What I'm doing now is, is there's a workaround with MailChimp. It's a couple extra clicks, but if you like to retarget people, because I like to retarget everyone. I don't like to retarget people that are on my website within the last X amount of days, right? all my Zillow leads, all my realtor.com leads, my sphere, you know, I want to retarget all of them. So what I, I do is I create a list inside of MailChimp, right? And I add all my entire database, you know, into that list of MailChimp. And then when I create a Facebook ad, I retarget that whole entire list. Again, Facebook just had to make this way more complicated. <laughs> it's not, it's not too bad. It's just a few extra clicks. It's a bit annoying. Because it's we're still doing able to, we're still doing the exact same thing, they just made it way harder for no reason uh, to fight discrimination. Whatever, I don't think I don't think anyone was discriminating. I think it's just the federal government being being dumb because you know they're so good at their job. Anyways, so I like to retarget them with uh, Facebook ads. Of course, you can do retargeting ads inside of Facebook that doesn't require creating this list. I just like to personally target my entire list because I want to keep things things as simple as possible. I know this seems really complicated. It's really not that complicated. Um, but um, yeah, anyways, I hope this was uh, a helpful video to you. I know we kind of, I kind of rambled on a lot. There's a lot to cover here. Um, I'll be creating and adding more uh, drip campaigns. Uh, so if you want to right there, subscribe, um, please feel free to do so. I send out an email every week or every two weeks. Uh, we're just updating drip campaigns. Um, I'm always testing, I'm always adding new ones, I'm always learning, and every time I learn new tricks and uh, stuff, I'm just, I just want to share it with you. So if, if you want to subscribe to this YouTube channel, um, please feel free to do so. Give me a like because I don't really get that many likes and followers or shares on this because a lot of this is not SEO friendly. People are not Googling this stuff, right? But I know every realtor wants to know how to do this, right? So um, if you know anyone that needs help with this, please, please feel free to share them share this video with them and one's probably listening listening because we're like 30 minutes in <laughs> okay maybe not 30 minutes but uh um otherwise you know feel free to check out the lazy realtor 
there's a ton of free real estate drips, a ton of free content here, you know, for you to download. So if you need help with anything, you know, these are just great for converting real estate leads into clients. Because uh, I'm lazy and I don't really want to spend all day talking to people. So I just let my robot or line desk talk to people for me. Anyways, uh, let me know if I can do anything for you. Uh, leave a comment down below. I always read and check all my comments. So uh, feel free to do that and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.